Okay, we're in 3ds Max. We're going to be looking at making a projection map, creating normal maps. And what we're going to do is we're just going to create a, um, a box, make a high poly and a low poly version of it. So I'm going to create a box, go to cube, make segments 3 by 3 by 3, keyboard entry, make it 12 inches, Hit create, and then I want to see my edged faces so we can see these faces. And we will like make this the high poly box. So I'm going to type in high, and then I'm going to select it, right click, clone, make sure it's a copy, not an instance, and name it low. And the low poly cube or box is the one that we're going to be projecting the detail from the high poly onto. So, for our low poly, I'm going to change the color and I'm going to make this um, a green. And for our high poly, the purple is just annoying me a bit, so I'm going to make it a little bit less saturated blue. So with our high poly selected, we're going to go in and add some detail. So I'm going to come in, right click, convert to an edible poly. Grab some polygons, hold down control, and then I'm going to bevel these out. So one of the things is if I do an extrude and it goes straight down, it won't read as well for the uh, normal map. And if it's too high, it's not going to read well for the normal map. So I'm going to make a slight raise here. And then I'm going to select a few more faces. another bevel, change the bevel from group to po per polygon, and then pull these in a little bit. Now I can still see my low box, so I'm just going to hide that, and this will work. I'll just go a little bit lower. There. So we don't want um, the boxes to be exactly the same size. We need one of them to be larger than the other so that we can project down onto the smaller box. So because I have some faces recessed, it's not going to catch that detail. So I'm going to take my high box, scale it uniformed, be out of sub-object mode, and just make sure it's large enough to encompass the other box for our projection onto our low poly object. So under our perspective view, I'm just going to go to something like the front view, change the view to wireframe override, and then just move the box so we are centered over the small box. And everything seems to be aligned. We're good. I'm going to go to perspective, change back to default shading. Now with our low box, I'm going to hide the high box. Our low box is what we're projecting that shape onto. So I'm going to need a UV unwrap. Once I have this, I'm just going to select the faces. So we're going to turn off ignore back facing, select polygons, select them, open up the UV um, editor, and I need to lay out the UVs. So I'm going to go to mapping, flat mapping, 45 degrees will work and it just lays down each face. Now that we have that, we just have to know what our map channel is. So it's map channel one. And we're going to add a new modifier. So I'm going to just deselect this. And the modifier is going to be projection. So with the projection modifier selected, we'll come down and look for reference geometry and we're going to pick the reference geometry. So I'm going to pick from list. High is the only other one. I'm going to add that and then make sure it's visible in the viewport here. So there it is. Now what I'm going to do after having it selected, let's just make sure it's in the list. We're going to go to our cage. Turn on shade it so we can see the cage, and then we're just going to push the cage larger than the 
objects that we're projecting. So it's going to project from the cage down through to the smaller box. And now I'm going to go to my renderer. I'm going to go to um, render to texture, which is also zero shortcut. And low is loaded as the object that we're projecting onto. We want to make sure we enable padding. You can add a little bit more padding just so it has a buffer. Enable your projection map. We've already picked the object. If we look in the options, any missed rays are going to turn red. And then we're going to come down and we're going to use existing channel and we're using channel one. Okay. And now we need to pick for the output what we're outputting. So we're going to output normal maps. I'm going to click add element. And now we have normal maps and it's going to tell us where it's saving to. Um, in this case, it just wants to save to an old folder. I'm fine with that. And I am going to click on the normal map and increase the size of the map. So it wants to export a 256 by 256 and I'm going to make it 2K by 2K. And then we're going to say output in into normal bump and make sure render to file only is selected. Hit render and now we're getting our render. Now I might have a couple little errors here but that's okay because we're just doing a demo. I'm going to close this file down. I can get rid of this projection and then I'm going to hide the high which we can delete because uh, we don't need it anymore. I'm going to go into my material editor. I'm going to create a standard material just for this demo and we're coming out of the bump. So we want to come out of the bump channel, make a general normal bump, and then out of the general normal bump, we're going to go ahead and grab our bitmap so we can load our image. So like I said, it's been saving to a different file, so I'm just going to go up out of my project I'm working on to the file it wanted to save it in, and just navigate to the images and here it is. That's the map we've generated and I'm going to click open. Now I'm going to go to my material. Um, make sure my low is selected in the viewport and apply to selection, make visible in viewport. You won't see it. So what we have to do is we have to change some of the viewport settings. So we're going to go underneath view, show material in viewport as and then just make sure I have realistic material with maps. And now you'll see the map is there. It's a little faint. But if we come into our bump map, you'll see by default your bump map is set to 30%. So if we just crank that up, let's get just to 100. You'll see it reads pretty well. So it Again, it will break at certain angles because it is just a bump. But if we rotate and get to a nice angle, you'll see it does read. So I can, again, increase this a little bit more than 100%. But it is a, as, it is a projection. It is a normal map. So, but it looks good. The ones pushed in look much better than the ones pushed out. Um, and again, there's only a limit as to what's going to work and where. But that is how to make a projection um, normal map in 3ds Max.